Today I'm gonna to show you how to do a parallax scrolling effect. I have a screen set up here with a photo in the middle of it, and that photo is obscured by a couple of rectangles on top of it. So you can see as I move these out of the way that they're covering up the photo slightly. Now I'm going to select all my layers here. I'm gonna leave the background layer out, and I'm gonna put them in a group. And this group is going to scroll vertically, so I'm gonna turn on vertical scrolling for this group, and let me go into the preview and just make sure that it works. Now I'd like to be able to scroll this photo all the way off the top of the screen to scroll up further. So I'll select that scroll group and grab onto the content size handle, which is the blue dotted border. And if I bring that down, it makes the content size of the scroll group a bit bigger. So now I can scroll up further. I'll just take that even a little bit further. All right, now I have a nice long distance to scroll over. What I'm going to do next is select the scroll group and add a group around it. So the scroll group is now inside of another group and on that outer group I'm going to add a behavior. In the behavior designer I'm going to add a new state and in the new state I'm going to move this photo up a little bit. So the animation that's going to happen is that photo just moving up, sliding up beneath those two rectangles that cover it. Now you don't need to worry about trying to move like all the content up like this because as the user scrolls, the content's gonna move up. We just wanna make sure that that photo animates up uh, in relation to everything else. So how do we get from the initial state to the new state? Well, I'll select the scroll group and click create link and target the new state. Now you wanna make sure that the gesture is set to scroll. And if you don't see scroll here, it probably means you didn't select the scroll group. So with the scroll gesture, you have this range and when you scroll over that range, meaning when you scroll from the initial point of the screen here, it's right at the very top, to 155 points, which is what it's set to now, we're gonna see the animation happen over that distance. So I'm at zero right now, and as I scroll up, you can see the photos moving as I do this, and once I get to 155 points of distance, it's gonna stop scrolling, or stop animating, rather. Okay, so that works, that's the parallax effect but I would like for the animation to happen up until the photo goes off the top of the screen. So let's adjust that range. I'm gonna bring this range all the way down to the bottom of the photo, which means I need to scroll that far before the animation is complete. So I'll start scrolling. And now the animation is very subtle and it's just that photo sliding up very slowly, it's still going. And once I get it off the screen, that's when it stops, but you can't see it because it's off the screen, so that's perfect. So now I can scroll back and forth and we've just got that nice subtle parallax effect happening with that photo. So that's a great use case for the behavior designer using scroll gestures to create a parallax animation effect as you scroll.